In this video, you will learn the different uses for the 3D loft command. The first thing you want to do is to draw a rectangle. Now we're going to draw a second one and place it in the middle of the bigger rectangle. And the last geometry we're going to draw is a circle, also in the middle of both rectangles. Now we are going to select the smaller rectangle and the circle to move it upwards. As I want the circle to be in the middle, I'm just going to select the rectangle to further move it upwards. And now I'm going to use the loft command. You can do that with typing the word loft in the command bar or you can right mouse click, open your quad cursor and in model you will find the loft command. The command will ask you to select the cross sections and here you have your 3D object. In the command bar you will also find the option mode, so I'm going to type MO for mode and press enter. Now BricksCAD will ask you to choose the type of created entity and you can choose between solid and surface. Solid is in default and now I'm going to type SU for surface. Now the created 3D object is not a solid but as you can see it's a hollow surface. After typing enter, you will have some options to choose from. In default, it's going to be cross section only, but now I'm going to type settings to see what kind of settings we can choose from. Now tap enter and you can see the current option is smooth fit. And now I'm going to type in ruled to see the difference. As you can see, the object is now ruled, but I like the smooth one better. So I'm going to type S again and enter. Further, we're going to make another example uh, for the loft command by using guidelines. So first I'm going to draw a rectangle again. Next I want to draw a rectangle in another plane, so I'm going to type UCS, enter, type Y, enter, and enter again to set the angle, and now I can draw a rectangle. Here I'm going to select the rectangle and move it around a little bit to make sure it's in the middle and then I'll drag it upwards and to the right. Next I'm going to use the spline command and draw a path connecting both rectangles. So drawing this we are going to use the loft command again so I'm going to use the quad cursor. Next I'm going to select both rectangles, press enter, and then I'll choose the option guides, enter again, and then they ask me to select the guide curve, so this is my curve. Here we have our 3D object with a guided curve. The last thing that I want to show you with this command is to use two guidelines instead of one, so I'm going to go back, and I'm going to use the spline command again and draw a second path connecting both rectangles. So once again, I open my quad cursor with my most recent commands. I select loft. And once again, I'm going to click on both rectangles, enter, type in guides, and I select one curve, and then I'll select the second curve, enter again, and here I have my 3D object using two guidelines. And this is how you make objects using the 3D loft command. Thank you for watching.